Charlotte Lulana and the Moon by Sylvia Tabor Narrated by Claire Staniforth A bedtime story for children and their parents After a day of lots of fun, Charlotte Lulana was enjoying the beautiful sunset and was waiting for the moon to come out. She was curious to see what shape her yellow friend would have. She soon saw the full moon. Charlotte Lulana was happy to see it. She was also curious to know more about it. Dear moon, why do you change your shape so often? asked Charlotte Lulana. Oh, my little friend, I am glad to tell you more about myself. First, you have to know that I never change my shape. I am always a sphere, like a ball. But I see you every time in a different shape. This happens because what you see are different parts of me that are lit up by the sun. As I make my monthly journey around the earth, the side of me reflecting the sunlight is viewed from different angles. There are eight moon phases. They depend on its position in relation to the sun and earth. New moon, waxing crescent, First quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, last quarter, waning crescent. The cycle repeats once a month. Charlotte Lulana was fascinated by all she just found out about the moon. But her eyelids became heavy. She could not help but close her beautiful eyes. Her mummy found her sleeping on the floor, with her head resting in her hands, her elbows on her knees, and her head up. She had fallen asleep looking at the moon. Her mom put her in bed, covered her with her favourite blanket, and turned off the lights in the room. Charlotte Lulana was sleeping peacefully, with a big smile on her face. She was having a sweet dream. In her dream, she saw the moon, the sun, and the earth holding hands and dancing slowly in a circle to a beautiful music. Oh, and she knew that melody. It was her favorite one, Moonlight Sonata. Charlotte Lulana was so happy to see her three big friends together that she decided to join them, enjoying those beautiful moments. The moon looked at the little sleeping girl and smiled also because it knew what she was dreaming about. It was a very sweet dream.